all you party people. You're watching episode 29 of the Daily Decrypt. I know, I can hardly believe it either. I am your host, Amanda. Today, Bitcoin is $329. The Supernet is $1.19. Madesafe coin is two cents. And Counterparty is 92 cents. Today's episode is brought to you by Telebit. Meta Exchange, which you may remember from yesterday's episode, is the shapeshift like instant exchange, which does not require that you create an account. And they are offering what they're calling profit splitting asset tokens or fee sharing asset tokens. These tokens are being sold on the BitShares Asset Exchange, and they basically represent a share of 50% of the fees generated by Meta Exchange. They're being sold for either Bitcoin, Ethereum, or BitShares, and will be used to add liquidity to the exchange. The tokens will pay dividends, and Meta Exchange will also offer a buyback price on the tokens each month. And anyone is able to buy these tokens, not just special pat on the back, good old boy, club card carrying accredited investors. HoneyBadgerOfMoney.com has started a mailing service for those who would like to write to political prisoners slash Bitcoin entrepreneurs Charlie Schrem and Ross Ulbricht. 99 cents worth of Bitcoin, Litecoin, or Dogecoin will get the message that you write printed out as a letter, stamped, and mailed to either Ross or Charlie. Conversely, there is a free option for letters going just to Ross by sending your message to nonaggressionprinciple1 at gmail.com. There is a man who lives in New Hampshire named Christopher David, and he's sometimes called the illegal Uber driver in that local self-proclaimed rulers have said that he is not allowed to pick people up for money, and he continues to do it anyway. This man also happens to be a developer, and he is currently seeking alpha testers for a new app he's designing called Trident. Trident is designed to make organizing basically decentralized movements easier and more effective by offering crypto micropayments for tasks as they're completed by various volunteers. If your cause or organization might benefit from joining the alpha test of Trident, contact Christopher at freeuber.org and or check out the interview he's just given to the podcast Neocash Radio. Cash Clamber is a crypto gambling game site, which is more my speed in that the games are like Pac-Man rather than Texas Hold'em. And the site offers free practice plays for their roughly dozen or so games. And best of all, it does not require flash. Happy day. Not everyone who uses cryptocurrency is a computer and cryptography expert. But when you are your own bank, it pays to up your security practices for both your online activities and your, your hardware best practices. And I have found that the site privacytools.io makes doing that a lot easier than it might have been otherwise. Privacytools.io basically just gives a list of vetted suggestions for everything from VPNs, to browser plugins, to password managers, to operating systems, to cloud storage options, and messaging systems. And in exploring privacytools.io, you might even learn about ways that your browser was leaking information about you that you didn't even know about, and you'll learn how to fix that. So I just wanted to tell you that. And of course, they take Bitcoin tips. CoinRx is an online pharmacy which has available generics for dozens of popular drugs that are payable in Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dogecoin, Dash, and Peercoin. And best of all, no prescription is required. Now you might think, this sounds too good. This doesn't sound like medicine as I know it. You mean I get to stay in the comfort of my own home, in my pajamas, and shop for whatever drugs I want without having to go out and ask permission from at least two different people? I thought it sounded too good to be true myself, and so I tried it out, and guess what? It actually works. 
and all orders currently come with a 10% cashback reward in your account system there, so you build up points, and so future purchases through CoinRx are always just a little cheaper. Word to the wise, shipping does take about two to three weeks, so if you are dependent on a drug, for example, you'll want to be sure to order plenty ahead of time before you run out of your current stock. I wanted to have a PSA moment. I must tell a short and shameful story. I got a bar owner to accept Bitcoin for my drinks last week, and I help him set up a mycelium wallet on his phone, and it all was very new and exciting, and I didn't want to scare him off with the technicalities of saying, well, now it's time for you to create a backup of your private keys and store it in a USB drive, blah, 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 and so I didn't tell him to make a backup. And guess what? The next day, he ran over his phone with his motorcycle. And so his shiny new Bitcoins are now lost into the ether forever. And so just as a PSA, even when using a wallet that is as ridiculously easy to use, like the Mycelium app that we used, don't let the ease of use seduce you into forgetting to encourage someone to make a backup and just help them do it and everyone will be better for it. Yes, it's a little annoying and weird and new and time consuming, but I think that the benefits of teaching someone how to be their own bank far outweigh the little annoyances of having to make a backup. And shout out to our sponsor, Telebit, which is a new Telegram bot and standalone Android app, which functions like somewhat of your Bitcoin digital slave. And right now, the Telebit wallet is also cheaper to use than any other Bitcoin wallet because all transaction fees are being covered by their sponsor, Trezor. And I'm just going to tell you how to start using the bot because it's wicked easy. If you have Telegram, you go to search for contacts and search for the at Telebit, add them to your contact list, and then in your chat box with them, type a capital W. And that's all you need. You've started. Check out Telebit.org for more info and have a fabulous day. Saturday